Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here. So I just wanted to take you on a trip with me to the grocery store so that you could see all of the things that I tend to eat on a weekly basis. A lot of the things that I get, I normally get from Costco, but I realize that some of you might not have a Costco near you or might not have a membership there. So I decided that I was gonna go to just a regular old grocery store and just walk you through the aisles and show you what I tend to get and buy and eat uh, daily. So these, this is just for like staples. And these have been my staples since the very, very beginning. I saw my nutritionist and my endocrinologist both this week. And if you recall with last week, Things were kind of up in the air because I had stalled. I was at a plateau and I didn't know if I was going to continue on with the shots that I'd been already taking or if I was going to move up to the 0.5 dosage. My nutritionist basically was like, okay, you're not eating enough calories and stop weighing yourself because that is not going to help you at all. She said what a lot of you said in the comments of my last video, basically like, you know, some weeks are different than others. My endocrinologist advised that I do move up to the 0.5 dosage. He said that since the beginning of my going to see him, which was, let's just say January 1st, I went to, I started going to see him because I saw him literally like the day before New Year's Eve. So we'll just say January 1st. He said since January 1st, I have lost 23 pounds. So if you remember in some of my previous videos, which if you've not watched them, please watch them. I'll put a link in this video to where you can watch them. But in some of my previous videos, I mentioned I had lost weight in my first weeks of going to see the endocrinologist who ultimately would be the one that prescribed me to Wigovi. So I had already began to lose some weight. On Wigovi, I'm still at a 19 pound weight loss and my my total weight loss thus far is 23 pounds. And thank you all for the comments on the last video. I heard everything that you guys said and um, I really, really appreciate and so value the information that you guys share in the comment section of these videos. It's almost like just as good as the actual video information. Please read the comments below because the topics that I'm talking about, people are chiming in, people who've been on this medication or Ozempic or Manjaro, like people who've been on these medications for way longer than me are chiming in and they have commentary in these, in these videos below. So make sure if you're going to review my videos, read the comments. But thank you all for your insight. So far, you were all right in the comments saying, oh, if you haven't reacted yet and if you haven't had any bad reactions, you're not gonna have a reaction. So far, I took the shot on Wednesday. It is now Friday. I'm two days in on the 0.5 dosage and I'm fine. I'm still at a plateau. I still haven't lost any weight. In about um, a week and a half, you know, this following Monday will be the two week anniversary of my lull or my plateau. For one day there, I did like gain weight, but then the next day I lost it and I didn't even poop to lose it. I just, I don't know what happened. I just, it was there and then it wasn't. So anyway, yeah, let's go to the grocery store. You, me, and my daughter are gonna just go through the aisles. I'll show you the key things that I think are so important to my weight loss thus far. And um, I'm also gonna walk you through how to use the My Plate app, which is essential to my accountability every day for what I'm putting into my body. So come on, let's go. Okay, my air. What color cart do you wanna get? <laughs> Why red? Because I love red. Is that your favorite color? Uh -huh. Because God forbid we go shopping without the race car, you know, fire engine cart. And of course they only have pink. Ugh! So the very first thing that I'm gonna pick up is berries. I love berries. And you can see in the My Plate app that raspberries and blueberries are only one calorie each. So I'll eat like 20 blueberries for breakfast and that'll be pretty filling. Now blackberries on the other hand are three calories each. So I tend to eat way less. <laughs> you enjoy your free clementine? It's yummy. 
Okay, we definitely did sanitize your hands before you started eating. And the rule is you can't touch the steering wheels while you're eating, right? <laughs> okay. So next up is hummus. Now, like I said, I normally get this from Costco in these little teeny tiny jars and they're very filling, but a great source of protein and 170 calories, so it's a lot. Next up is ground flaxseed. And it's very important that you get ground. Um, I put this in my yogurt and it's a source of fiber that'll help you go potty because constipation is an issue. So next, speaking of constipation being an issue, make sure that you get Fiber One. Now, I couldn't find Fiber One, so I found All Brand. And it's very similar, but it's 120 calories for two-thirds cup, where Fiber One is only 90 calories. So get the Fiber One. So the Premier Protein protein shakes, I've replaced milk with it and I'll put it in my coffee to get some protein in the morning with my coffee. Also, I'll put it in my cereal. It makes the cereal sweeter and it's easier to take down liquid protein, especially if you're struggling with nausea. It's a must have. I drink a bottle every single day. Liquid IV is a lifesaver. It helps with electrolytes that keep you from being nauseous. So important. It's super important that you take your vitamins. B12 is for energy, and with Wagovi, you can get tired. So I take B12 first thing in the morning, and I also take a women's multivitamin um, because you need the nutrients because you're not eating as much. It's important to get gummies because you can digest them even if you're nauseous. Okay, so it's an incredibly busy day at the supermarket today, um, and that is pretty embarrassing because I'm walking around with a camera and a selfie stick. So I'm not gonna put myself on this film very much today because I am pretty embarrassed. I'm hiding out in like the cosmetic section because nobody's here just to tell you very briefly that um, it's crowded and like the parking lot was so full that I could barely get in. So I already knew, oh God, there's gonna be a lot of people here and I'm gonna look like a jerk lingering around the aisles. But I hope that this is working out and that you're seeing the footage um, and the items that I buy. So yeah, that's this is the last you'll see of me in the grocery store. Bye. <laughs> Mayor, say bye. One of my most favorite things, and I never tire of it, I'm not gonna pronounce this because I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it is like the best yogurt. And unfortunately, on the My Plate app, it rings up as 100 calories, but as you can see on the packaging, it says 90 calories. So thankfully, you can adjust it to 90 calories in the app. And last, but most certainly not least, is the incredible edible egg, y'all. Okay, you've got to keep hard-boiled eggs in your house or scramble them, whatever you want, but I keep them hard-boiled just in case I need a quick source of protein. I eat at least one egg, one boiled egg, every single day. Can never go wrong with a boiled egg. Okay, guys, so I just got back from grocery shopping and it is a Friday afternoon. I don't know why I decided to do this on a Friday afternoon. I couldn't even find a parking spot. So that was my first indication that it was gonna be crazy inside of the supermarket. I'm walking around with a camera attached to my cart and thinking, oh my God, people are gonna think I'm filming them and their children and I'm some type of weirdo. But that's pretty much it. Those are the staples that I'm buying and I'm eating every single day with the exception of like the hummus. The hummus is a lot of calories. So sometimes that's just like my lunch period. My meals switch up, but as far as staples that get eaten almost every day, these are it. What's something that you like to eat every day that's keeping you on track and in your calorie deficit, allowing you to lose weight? Comment below. I wanna read your comments and the things that are keeping you on track. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it's so important to read the comments of these videos because it's just like a wealth of knowledge down there. Also, what more kind of content can I share with you? I'd love to continue this journey with you, but I don't wanna bore you, so let me know what you wanna see. Oh, and something that I did forget to tell you, something that was pretty um, informative when I went to see my nutritionist this week. At this point, she's a super nice lady, but I don't, need to go to her as frequently 
you know, the one tidbit that I really did walk away from was that when you're looking at the My Plate app, she was saying that the only thing that I should be focusing on is the calories consumed. Because as you walk throughout the day and say you go and exercise in the day, it begins to give you calories back. So because you're exerting energy, it's telling you that you can eat more. But she said to only focus on the calories consumed so that I really stay in the calorie deficit. I didn't ask her to elaborate. I would imagine if I were like rigorously exercising, I would probably need to eat more. But as for now, I'm just gonna stick with the calories that I woke up with um, and the system will determine how many calories you should be eating by your age, your weight, your goal weight. And if you're weighing yourself and you have a scale that will link into the system, it knows how much you weigh and it'll act accordingly with how many calories it's gonna give you. As I lose weight, I get less and less calories a day. But from here on out, I'm not gonna pay attention to how many calories I can eat, but rather how many calories I've already consumed. Subtract that from the number that I was given at the very start of the day and that's how I know what I have left to consume to stay within the calorie deficit that I need to be in to lose weight. Hope that made sense. Anyway, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not already, and share this video with your friends, please. If you're benefiting from this, then um, I would love it if you would share it with somebody who is thinking about going on Bogovio Zempic Manjaro. So far, so good. I am still at the plateau, but we'll see what next week brings. My big event is next week too, by the way. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right back here really soon. Bye-bye.